Let's talk about impedance rise and its effects. Impedance rise is something you're going to always have to deal with. You can't stop it, but you can try to limit it. You can, some people are going to tell you you can predict it. You can't. Because impedance rise varies on different songs. As your, as your penis rise also bears as your luck school is playing with different songs. When a song is actually, when a song has a certain uh, information and must be reproduced, a certain frequency, and it gets sent to your uh, subs from your amplifier, based on the electrical coming in, so all that's going to affect your impedance rise. <laughs> so it can vary. It can also vary on the same song based on your electrical coming in. Impedance rise is something you're always going to have to deal with. So with that being said, when you look at the amplifier and they're telling you this is 3K, this is 4K, this is 5K. In a perfect world, you would see that. Most people say, well, this amp was dynoed and it was tested at one ohm, let's say it's 3K amp, and you download it at one ohm. For instance, let's look at my Robert, Robert Files gate, 1500 BDCP. It's 1500 watts at two ohm and one ohm. When Big D downloaded it at one ohm, it put out over 2200 watts, 3000 on dynamic at one ohm. When music is playing, your subwoofers are not going to constantly see one ohm. It's going to rise from 1 to 25 ohm, sometimes even more. So with that being said, you're not going to see that power. Those videos that you see me playing on my on, on my channel with my X-Plane, 2 ohm, 4 ohm, even when I had the XAB3s, 2 ohm. Do you know I clamped that? A friend sent me an SMD meter. <laughs> when I had them two H playing, guess what, guess what they were seeing? I was rising to five ohms. At five ohms, at five ohms my amp clamp at one point, 1100 watts. So those videos you see playing, oh yeah, he got 1500, he got 2000 watts going to him. Nah, nah. So it's always, with that being said, it's best to get more power than necessary. But when you get more power, then you're gonna have, you're gonna have a higher amp draw. And when you have a higher amp draw, then you're gonna have to do more to beef up your electric. You're not gonna, if I was to switch out my Robert Files Gate 1500 and put in a Robert Files Gate 2500 BDCP, for me to say, yeah, I'm getting 2500 more watts and I haven't done anything else to beef up my electric, it'll be foolish on my part. Because that's not happening. It's not happening. You're going to have to beep up your electrical to handle that extra amp draw that your amplifier is going to need to reproduce that sound to distribute to make that power that it, claim, it says it can make. And still, with impedance rise, you will not see that full power. So you're saying, man, well, shoot, what's the point of even doing it? This is something I want you to think about. Home theater systems, home audio systems. How come the amplifier is only rated 500 watts? Kenwood, Pioneer, JBL, Sony, whatever you want to name. 500 watts the amplifier for the home. Rock the entire house. Have your neighbors complain. And you know the interior of a home is way big. The interior of one room is way bigger than your car. So wherever system, wherever you have that home theater system at in the home, on 500 watts, it'll rock that whole room and disturb the neighbors and go on down the street. And you know the room has way more interior than your cabin in your car. But that's 500 clean watts. Super low THD level. 500 super clean watts. It's very, very loud. I would have you, I would have, I would have tell that most people have now heard a clean 500 watts in their car. 
500 watts on 212 just clean, just very, very loud. So with that being said, it's always best to get more than necessary when it comes to these car amplifiers. Compared to a home theater system, it's dirty power anyway. Unless you get the best of the best, JL, Waterfall Gate. Amps that are made to invite and penis rise and deliver you good, clean power. Zapco, Xeon. Other than that, and when you get more power, you got to beef up and get more electrical too. How many demands the amplifiers are going to put on electrical system? These are facts. So something to think about, man. You always got to fight an impedance ride. And I like to do less with more. In my videos, I think most people are impressed with it. I'm going to tell you straight up, man. I ain't number but a thousand watts, maybe. Depends on the song. <laughs> maybe. Doing all that noise, all that, just putting the earphones and you hear it sound so well. Ain't nothing but a thousand watts. After the impedance rise, between eight and 1100 watts is getting sent to the subs, whether it's two or four. Quaking as y'all say, sound great, man, good, look at that, shaking the door, and all those, and I got my shit down at it. Something to think about, man, something to consider. Anyway, get at me if you need the enclosure. Building, we'll put some other videos up today and later on. But we are hollering. MB out of here.